antibodies consist of two heavy chains and two light chains that together form a characteristic Y-shaped structure. At the tip of each arm is the so-called antigen binding site, which is the part of the antibody that specifically binds to its target. To increase the specificity of antibody-based molecular recognition, researchers at the Eindhoven University of Technology have introduced a new class of bivalent ligands that allow reversible blockage of the antigen binding sites. The molecular locks they developed consist of two antibody binding peptides that are connected via a linker of double-stranded DNA. The rigid DNA linker effectively bridges the distance between the two antigen binding sites, allowing simultaneous binding of both peptides' epitopes. The tight binding of the peptide DNA lock effectively blocks the antibody from binding to its cell surface receptors. To allow reversible control of antibody activity by addition of an external molecule of DNA or RNA, the linker is extended with a piece of single-stranded DNA, a so-called toehold. Binding of a complementary DNA or RNA strand to this toehold initiates a strand displacement reaction that unzips the double-stranded DNA linker and yields two monovalent peptide DNA molecules that bind 100 to 1,000-fold weaker than the original bivalent ligand. Being released from its lock, the antibody is now able to bind to its target cell surface receptor. This approach should be broadly applicable since the characteristic Y-shaped molecular architecture is shared by all antibodies, providing a generic non-covalent method to control antibody activity targeting, both in the field of antibody therapeutics and in the field of DNA-based nanotechnology.